Well, hello, 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 everybody. Happy Saturday morning. Well, it's not totally happy for me, but we'll get into it. I'm wishing you a happy Saturday morning. We're starting our live stream a little bit early today. And I thought I'd start off this live stream with some shots of some really gorgeous bettas that we have here. Hello, 3G. Hello, Leah Joan Jet. Howdy, howdy. We are doing a quick, live, dirty stream right from my phone, right from the YouTube app. Looks like we have 12 people looking right now and three likes. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. I'm going to give it a few more moments. Hey, Scott. I'm going to give it a few more moments and uh, let a few more people uh, file in. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. I saw that uh, Peck Tech was doing live streams. Ed was doing streams from Aquashella earlier. It's a real big weekend, guys. You got a lot going on, and uh, a lot of it is down in Aquashella, which I am not at, obviously. I am standing in my shop. You see, I've been doing some maintenance, and we're going to, a lot of maintenance over there. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into why the thumbnail of this live stream, quite frankly, says the truth the good, the bad, and the bummer. Before we get into the bummer, let's just get a nice shot of this guy. This is a red snow dragon. And this guy, this is your classic Multicolor half moon. See, he doesn't have a crown tail, anything like that. Nothing, nothing like that going on. Hello, Patrick and everybody else, if I missed you. Jenny Lynn, many others. 18 in here, eight thumbs up. Hey, it's getting better. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this dude is pretty. You pretty, boy. Next, let's have a look at this little dude. This is a black orchid crown tail. Let's see if we can get him to move around a little bit. Look at this gentleman. Come on, fella. There we go. The black orchid crown tail. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Get some air, buddy. There you go. And we've got your classic crown tail. Just a classic. Usually blue with a touch of red. Anyway, why am I showing you guys bettas in mason jars? Remember I had said in the past a few things about bettas and little containers. I said I didn't like it. And I had shown you something that I was building, pardon the mess, we had some emergencies today. Still got one, two, three, four. Basically, there were eight aquariums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the 2.5 gallon Aquions. All right, you see there's a beta there, beta there, beta there, beta there. Now, there are four aquariums missing and four more about to be moved. Why? <laughs> Let's get into that why. Well, this is why. I came in today and this, you can still see there's plenty of water in there. I've been working on it for about an hour. It was all the way back there. It was all wet. That's what I've been doing with these industrial sponges. Basically, what happened is this. <sighs> Out of all eight aquariums, this one and this one, this one and this one, that one and that one, all leaked. Every single one of those six. This one and this one have yet to leak at all. So, let's, let's take that in for a second, guys. On the Aquion 2.5 gallon, little tiny utility aquarium, which 
which are perfect for bettas. I mean, they're basically designed for them. They have little slots, you know, kind of cut into the, uh, the inside of the lid so you can put dividers in there easily. 75% leak rate on the Aquion 2.5 gallon aquariums. 75% failure rate. That's dreadful, dreadful. So I came in this morning and I actually, you know, got something on the go to eat. I usually, you know, I'm really bad about coming to work with no plan for food and I'm here all day working, you know, like a maniac. And at the end of the day, when I get off, having, having not eaten anything, you're just, you're wiped out. You don't feel great. Um, so I kind of changed that this morning. I came in with something easy to, you know, to, to eat on the fly in the shop, uh, to eat on the go in the shop, I should say, not, not fly. That sounds weird. Um, yeah, and I came over here, hey, little fellas, want to check on the new bettas, and oh dear, I notice um, six of the eight have lower water levels than they did yesterday. That is your first clue that either the laws of physics have sped up drastically or time in your shop, which is very unlikely, and that has all evaporated in super quick time, or you have sprung a leak. And when I took a look at the ground, I couldn't see anything um, because it's, it's leaking the way that I hope that if I have a leak, it's not gonna leak that way. Um, it all stayed behind the aquariums. See, flip this back. It all stayed there. So I've been sopping up water. We still, we got, we got, see? I've been sopping it up, but that's, that's your leak. That's your problem right there. Here's another beautiful little black orchid male. Chilling, he has no idea he's about to be ripped out of his comfy little 2.5 gallon and shoved into a mason jar. Sorry, pal. Hey, it looks like we got 28 in here and 14 likes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. The likes really do help. I hate, you know, pandering for them. It's annoying. Good little dude. And this, this is a koi placat. Koi placat betta. He is a ringtail tutor, this dude. He's got attitude on him. We got another little beautiful crown tail. And another one. So yeah, that is definitely, uh, definitely a bummer. Not at all pleased about that. So we're going to get these guys loaded into a uh, into their little jars and clean this up the rest of the way. Definitely what I didn't it's not what I not what I had planned for my morning, that's for sure. Yeah, Patrick, I uh, I see your comment and I would strongly recommend you don't buy any Aquion 2.5s. I'd even uh, my buddy Alexander Williamson with the secret history living in your aquarium. He's been having problems with the same thing uh, the 5.5s I think as well as the 2.5s. So Be careful uh, with these really small Aquion aquariums right now. I would uh, I would honestly avoid them totally These were brand new aquariums guys never had water in them. Nothing. I haven't had them forever They haven't been sitting in a garage dry for years and years any of that normal stuff you usually want to avoid um, and That wasn't the case. So Whoops. So we're not going to be doing a full on live stream today. There's so much going on. There's so many other con there's so much other content going on. Uh, Pet tech, Ed, uh, Fish Room Fever, lots of people are at Aqua Shella right now. And I know for a fact there's some live streams going on. So I wanted to give you a little bit of a shop update today. Um, I wish it was better news, although I do have some good news. I want to show you something else I got. And this is not defective and broken. We got this in. Definitely been wanting to get a nice chiller, basically, is what it is. They call it a drinks chiller. Really, it's a, it's a, it's a wine and champagne chiller, is what it is. And about, yeah, beer fridge. Yeah, Leah. <laughs> about the warmest you can get it is perfect. That's right where you want it for what I have in here. And what I have in here are many, many wonderful liquid tissue cultures from Tropica, from my friends at Tropica. 
as well as many ADA tissue cultures. Wonderful, wonderful mosses, epiphytes. Back off a little bit here. Some really nice selections. This is from Aqua Design Amano, Ludwigia Parawensis. We've got some wonderful Rotala Bangladesh. Really, some really cool rare mosses. This is that Calicostella Prabactiana. This is that moss that grows kind of up and then down. It grows away from light. It's very, very strange. Hey, cool, Naomi. I have flame and weeping moss right now. Oh, look what we got in. This stuff is like hard to get right now. Crip Wintii Pink Panther. Also from ADA. Oh, Paul Soltero, I will give my distributor a lot of you-know-what about um, Aquion. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty not happy with them right now. Um, trying to stay focused, though. This is really hard to get right now, guys. This is Hygrophila panatophyta utara canada. This is a really weird color variant. It gets really red. It gets streaks through it. It's, it's a different color variant of Hygro panatophyta. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting to get some of this. I've only had it once before. This is Rotala sp wyanod. It's a really, really cool stem plant. A lot of goodies, guys. A lot of goodies. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Hmm. How about some of this? Anubius barteri var nana petite. Stuff is so hard to get right now. There's in such high demand. Let's see, we got some Proserpinaca palustris. Like these literally just got in late yesterday. They're not even loaded up. They're not even technically for sale yet. Literally just got them. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to get my hands on some of this. Bucephalandra sp sintang. This is a really cute little teeny tiny boost. Little small. Yeah, I could not get a Crip Spiralis Tiger, actually, Brian. I tried, I tried, I ordered some up and it came back zeroed out. Cannot do it, sorry. Hydrocotyle verticillata. This is the little umbrella-like parasol plant that's so that's such a great foreground plant. Don't have any brownie boots right now either, uh, Naomi. That's really tough to get. How about some? Rotala rotundifolia green. Really, really good quality tissue cultures this time. I'm very happy with it. Ah, uh, yes. Rotala macrandra sp mini. Also called butterfly. It's got a lot of different little slang names. Lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. So that's a big update for us. Got a whole bunch of nice... Really nice high quality tissue cultures in from ADA, as well as from my good friends up at Tropica. I'll show you some of their offerings. This is the classic Hygrophila Araguaya. Some wonderful star repens. This is a really useful, useful, useful foreground plant. Very easy to grow. Likes light, CO2 is definitely helpful. Here's, this is one, a lot of people don't know about this. Gradiola viscidula. Uh, it forms these leaves underwater that are kind of really pointy and look sharp, although it's a soft plant, obviously. But uh, it doesn't get terribly wide, doesn't get terribly tall, so it's, it's not really bad for overgrowing your aquarium. Of course, the classic Rotala rotundifolia H. raw, Bacopa caroliniana, got a bunch of Monte Carlo back there. I don't know if you can see in the back, we've got a bunch of Rotala Mac. It's a fantastic plant. Pinks and all that good stuff. Although we are mixing our Tropica with our ADA here. Uh-oh, we're crossing the streams. I think that's a pretty decent little update there. Probably gonna bring in maybe a second one of these find somewhere to put it. That's the key. So guys, um, 
I wanted to also mention uh, something that I mentioned uh, in the description. Um, actually, let me flip this around and let you guys look at some uh, beautiful bettas. Sorry, fellas. Forgive me. Made him jump. Oh, thank you, Patrick Hardy. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, Keith, you do not cross the streams. The end of existence. <laughs> no, um, while you guys have a, have a look-see at these bettas here, I want to kind of talk to you guys about some ideas I have. Now, I've been able to offer memberships on my channel for quite some time, and I haven't done it because, frankly, just the content's not there. I mean... You know, I'm, I'm still working on getting the shop up and running and working through some logistical things here and there. We are open for business, that is true. Um, but we're a uh, far cry from where I want it. Uh, we're, we're gonna be setting up uh, the first of our three aquascapes tomorrow. Actually, Monday, that's not true, it'll be Monday. For, for some reason, I thought this was Sunday for a moment. Uh, Monday, um, I'm basically dedicating all Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to nothing but aquascaping in here. Um, you know, got some people to help out with some maintenance on those days. Anyway, I wanted to ask you guys about, um, or actually mount some ideas off of you. Um, I've been wanting to offer memberships on my channel for a little while now, but I want to make sure that it's, you know, it's good value for money. And one of the, uh, I'll mount an idea off of you. Um, one of the ideas I have is that, you know, for, for a low monthly, you know, sum, uh, it wouldn't be much money at all. I'd like to work something into the membership deal where you get, um, like, discount codes for purchasing plants and, like, you know, um, little free codes, little, little you know, special, special things here and there and kind of, kind of make it a surprise. It could be different every month. Um, Maybe it's uh, free shipping on orders like over a certain amount, and that you know that amount is quite low uh, for plants. Um, I'm, I'm I really want to make my membership on my channel uh, really strictly about plants. Um, been kicking around the name for a while, and we're going to eventually get around to uh, launching memberships here. Uh, we're working on the content and the details, but it will indeed be called the Green Thumb Mafia. So if you are into, if you are into um, plants, I mean, not just, not just plants, but fish, but you know, if you're like me and you think that uh, having live plants in aquariums is, uh, is very, very important. In fact, essential to having a truly balanced aquarium where everybody's happy and healthy. Uh, if, you're, if you think like me, because I do think like that, then uh, the Green Thumb Mafia is going to be for you. Uh, I've been keeping plants for a long time. It's one of my strengths. Uh, I tissue culture my own plants. I do have a clean room uh, where I create my own plant tissue cultures, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, I've been, I've been monkeying around with plants for a long time, and I know for a fact I could bring a lot of uh, knowledge and help to people who are wanting to... Um, you know, kind of up their game with plants. Uh, maybe maybe you, you only keep like easier plants like crypts, which are for the most part kind of easy and swords really easy for the most part. And you want to get into stems. Maybe you want to uh, start playing around with upping your fertilization game. Maybe you want to start with some really low level CO2 injection, which I always, you know, kind of try to steer people towards because it's going to, uh, it's really going to help you out. Um, if you're interested in any of that, you know, learning how to do this stuff and why it's important, then, you know, I think the Green Thumb Mafia would, uh, would be right up your alley. Again, a big part of launching it and making it, you know, making it a thing and offering it to people is the ability to work something in there for members to where, you know, they could, uh, get a really nice deal like every month there's there's some you know special free thing or major break on certain cool stuff um, that only members get and we'd have to work that out with some kind of a unique code that is uh, that is given out to each member so you know there's obviously some logistics there that I need to work through um, and I'll be doing that but it's gonna take a little time. I'd like your feedback, guys. Leave me a comment after this live stream if you would, and give me your specific ideas, what you'd like to see in something like the Green Thumb Mafia. This dude is pretty. This black orchid is killer. I love this dude. Anyway, 
we are going to be wrapping it up before too long. Uh, tissue cultures from Tropica are available on my website, Daniel. Yes, uh, if you order, let's see the comment. Daniel uh, Velez asked, Redfish, uh, are these plants available on your website yet? If I order three sword tails, do you ship a trio or do I have to request that? Yeah, just request it. I can send you a trio. Um, if you want to throw some Tropica tissue cultures on your order, I will be sure to include them, no problem. Go in the same box. But before we wrap up today, I do want to show you something very cool. Let's see if I can see them. Yeah, I see them. There they are. Um, I was here working in the shop. It was late, you know, late in the day. I think we had closed up. And uh, my wife came up here and she was looking, uh, she was looking uh, at this tank. This is aquarium number 16. This is where I had a whole bunch of different stuff. Amato shrimp, I had um, white clouds, nearite snails. I had all kinds of stuff going on in here. And we have loads and loads of babies. Now, I don't know if you can see them. There are tons of babies in there. You see them f swimming all at the top. See these little black dots everywhere? There goes one. Let's see if I can zoom out. There are many, many, many of them down here on the bottom. See all these little tiny guys kind of in the center of the screen? There's hundreds, probably a hundred in here. Um, these guys are actually baby Hong Kong yellowfin white clouds, the long fin ones. Teeny tiny babies. Many, 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 many in here. I have easily over a hundred. And I've just been feeding them on um, kind of really finely crushed up, powderized uh, mysis shrimp flakes from uh, this really awesome company named Piscine Energetics. I do sell it on my website. I do have PE flakes as well as PE pellets available. And I'm telling you, it is a really good food, man. I, uh, I temporarily switched back to some plain Jane Tetra and my fish are like, nope. They are definitely not happy that I threw, start, <laughs> started throwing Tetra, Tetra men back in their tank. They're, uh, they're definitely giving me the look and a silent uh, protest. Uh, yes, I will have a needle leaf java fern for sale. Right now, java fern in general, you see this is, this is needle leaf. Uh, java fern in general right now, guys, is, uh, is flipping almost impossible to find. Uh, like your, your really, really popular plants, like your Anubius, and, and especially Anubius nana petite, all your java fern varieties, all of that is like goose egg right now, cleaned out. Um, as uh, businesses, business starts to pick up a little bit, we are kind of entering this uh, time of the year that I call the summertime blues, even though it's not summer yet, close enough. Um, sales start to really cool off. Nurseries know that. They produce less and less. You know, they, they don't want to be producing a lot of plants that don't end up selling and just die in the end, so they just tend to produce less. Um, and java fern right now is really, really tough to get, really tough. So I will be bringing some in. I've been working on a, a couple of new sources. Uh, I've got a lot of tissue cultures right now. We're going to be uh, basically offering a lot of plants uh, that are grown out directly in our aquariums here. Um, like I said before, I do tissue culture some of my own plants, not all of them. I don't tissue culture crypts or Anubias or any of that. It's just too involved. It takes too long. It's not worth it. I focus on stems, especially weird stems and mosses, that sort of thing. So we are going to be uh, offering plants actually grown in our aquariums, not thrown in for two weeks and then you say, wink, wink, they're converted. We sell converted plants. It takes plants longer than two weeks to convert, guys. You, you all know that. All you plant people know that. No, uh, we will be producing our own plants and moving them. We're, we'll be skipping stage four of the tissue culture process, which is, uh, which is rooting. Um, yeah, exactly. I was reading a comment. Um, so we'll be skipping for the most part uh, the rooting phase, which is stage four of the tissue culture process. And we'll be moving plants directly into our own aquariums here with some light CO2 uh, supplementation, really good fertilization, great uh, light, all that stuff. And we'll be growing uh, plants out here in our own aquariums and uh, we'll be offering them directly to you. 
Uh, they will be fully converted. They will not be wink, wink converted. Uh, they won't be funky, covered in diatoms and all kinds of nastiness. So that is coming up very soon. Um, working on the logistics for that is, is uh, taking a little time. So anyway, guys, uh, let me do a quick scroll here through comments. Uh, suggestion for the name, the wet thumb mob. Mafia is nothing to aspire to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know if wet thumb works though. We'll have to come up with something else. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll kick it around. After all, it's just a name. Redfish, bluefish, green tank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, comment from Naomi here. I do need the Piscine Flakes. I got the pellets from you and my angels and cardinals love it. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, so again, the, the Piscine Energetics, man, is a fantastic company and their food is killer. I mean, killer. I know a lot of people are gaga for, you know, Krill Flakes right now. Let me show you, this very well could be the Krill Flake killer. This stuff here, I have to constantly restock the shelves it's selling very very well and i've had to order some more uh very very quickly so piscine energetics uh this is primarily uh based off of uh lake uh, okanagan lake mysis shrimp which are very deep water mysis shrimp they're gut loaded with phytoplankton excellent food great price uh, i don't think you're going to beat that online anywhere um and let's see here are their pellets the piscine energetics uh one millimeter, the slow sinking pellet. So it's a really small pellet. After all, we are a nano fish shop. Basically, it's made out of exactly the same thing. It's just not in a, not in a flake form. So really, really good stuff, guys. Anyway, I think we're going to have to wrap it up there. I got to get some bettas out of those last tanks and move some stuff around. Uh, again, kind of recap. Got some awesome tissue cultures. The Tropica ones are available. Um, I am a big fan of the Tropica tissue cultures. Don't get me wrong, I love ADA and their tissue cultures rock it hard too. But the Tropica tissue cultures, because they're liquid, you know, there's no jelly or gel in it. It's just pure liquid. You just pull the plants out of the cup, give it a little rinse in room temperature water, plant, you're, you're ready to go. They're super convenient. And they are on average about a dollar and a half to two dollars more than the ADA tissue cultures, but that's because, you know, you kind of pay for convenience and pay for quality, basically. And both of them are a very high quality product. So we got that going on. Uh, unfortunately, got some beta bummers. Uh, yeah. Uh, no gel sold, says Stephen P. 2003. Yes, there is no gel in Tropica tissue cultures. They are always liquid. And again, couple dollars more on average. But um, another advantage that liquid tissue cultures have from Tropica, technically you don't have to convert them because they're growing in liquid. So they're kind of between, they're in this no man's land. They're not terrestrial and they're not full on aquatic. They're, they're stuck in purgatory, in this weird tissue culture purgatory. And if you pull them out of there and plug them into your aquarium, good lighting, fertilization, decent substrate, a little touch of CO2, guys, start kind of coming around to that idea because it's going to help you out a whole lot. Um, that plant will convert uh, to aquatic form in a matter of days. I mean, really fast. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. You've been watching Redfish, Bluefish. Uh, sorry, this is short and a little bit, um, a little bit all over the place. Um, I got to get these bettas moved because I am tired of mopping up water, guys. To all of you tuning in uh, from Aquashella, thank you so much. If you did tune in and if you didn't, you're catching it after the fact. Well, that's cool too. Um, I wish you all peace, love, and happy fish keeping. We'll see you next weekend. And a special thank you to all my mods for keeping everything going. Take care, guys, and we'll see you soon.